This is amazing. Uh, these this fic fictional, you know, show, fictional characters, but clearly you're pulling from things you've seen and heard in this business. Yes, yes. Well, this was inspired by my life in the whole fashion industry in this eccentric world of reality TV. And, you know, I, I wanted it to be a lot of fun. And I use satire specifically because, you know, we tend to laugh, but also learn more about ourselves kind of through humor. And that, that was the concept behind writing this book the way I did. And I wanted people to have fun, but I wanted to hit some really important issues that kind of sit underneath this, what is seemingly like a superficial, fun story, but there, there are some important uh, uh, core themes I wanted to touch on. You know, you're releasing this book now. Some of what you tackle outside of the humor deals with power, race, and gender in the modeling and fashion world. When yes. you look at what we're talking about right now, you know, magazine editors stepping down, the lack of inclusion at I mean, even like cooking magazines, it, it, it's incredible. You know, if you'd released this three years ago, you know, they might not have had the effective, you know, message that you want. It would have been too soon. Yes, and I don't think it would have been as well received a few years earlier. And what was interesting is when I was writing this, um, all of these issues definitely were there. And, and I'm not just looking at the fashion industry. I'm looking at the fashion and entertainment industry as a whole. And I wanted to very specifically look at how the entertainment industry deals with intersectionality and black woman's identity. I'm fascinated because I, I you know, obviously I'm writing a crime book right now, but that's because I did a crime show for years and also mm -hmm. it has a personal uh, a role in my life. You're talking about fictionalized characters, but how much of this was your own heartbreak or disappointment um, and even triumphs, of course, in the fashion and TV world? What I learned when I was done with every rewrite, and if you're writing a book, you know what I mean, writing is really rewriting. Uh, so when, when I got to the end of the process, so to speak, I realized, huh, there's really a part of me in all of these characters, even the characters I may not like as much, but there, it was important right. to really um, talk about human stories and hopefully shift the paradigm about how we look at power kind of relationships and authority. And, and, and that's what I want. That's what I set out to do. 